today we are back at Wolf Motors again with a big thank you for letting them use their uh, F250 turbo diesel 2020 version. It's a 6.7, so it makes about 450 pounds of, uh, 450 horsepower, about 930 foot pounds of torque, which is actually a lot of torque. So if we meander on over here, you can see I am not tall enough to find a turbo, so I'm trying to cross has a turbo on it. It's a 6.7 turbo diesel. But uh, as we can see, it's got, they didn't waste any engine bay in here. If we keep looking, there's really no empty space in this truck here. It's all used up, unlike some of them trucks where you can fit people on the sides between the engines. So, now if we stand back here and look at this front end, you know, it's got the, uh, the custom, not the custom, but it's got the, the Ford lights, which everybody knows what a Ford light looks like. The big old Ford emblem, fog lights, and the, of course, because the tremor package, which is the off-road package, tow hooks for if you get stuck but you're not but it's, it's a ford now go over to here we're going to be made by some nice thick luggy tires here you know look at those lugs you can that's that's the last pretty good luggage there you're, you ain't gonna suck with those nope now keep going so, now these mirrors you know as you can see it's got the, the ford emblem in it it's got the lights around it so you're at night driving eat lights now interesting is when this truck is turned off and it's locked the mirrors fold in and when it's unlocked they fold out and they have on, on a car pass you have sensors in here and they'll light up a little corner over here so tell you the car is passing and so if we come over to here the glorious blue paint with the nice chrome handles which honestly i think is pretty nice because they didn't overdo it on chrome and this truck is a 2021 a 2020 version going for roughly 90 grand it's eighty nine thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars now it is pre-owned it's got twenty one thousand miles on it roughly you know you just have some scratches dents and dings in the bed but you know what it's a truck you gotta take the abuse you know it's got uh some nice other back rooms here it's got uh, uh leaf springs in the back and the shocks in the front now if we come back here we're meted by an aggressive big hitch mount here. Yeah, this is not your average hitch set. So you're gonna be getting, you know, this is for a big, big haul, you know. Got a nice backup camera, so if you're backing up and you can't see, you know, you're looking there. Let's see. It does have the lazy man's tailgate. And it's got this thing. I don't know how to use it. Oh, there you go. The step. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know how to use this. So. You just, you, I think I think it's fully out. You just step on it now. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Put it up and it's a spoiler. You can't do it, well, actually. You can. I know. that. that don't do that. Don't yeah, use don't do that, spoiler. though. That's bad advice. Don't listen to Mark. He's a bad advice. More downforce. Now, if you look in here again, we have more uh, tow hook connections here. And some here. It's a nice bed light so at night you have uh you can see what you're doing if you're working on your bed here over here a little button don't know what that does i'm not gonna click it i'm afraid so you know it's got a pretty decent bed length let's say six feet but, you know not bad here the, this, this tailgate is extremely light compared to my truck this thing very light Nice little platinum super duty with a little Ford symbol here. You know, you're, never, you're gonna know it's a Ford because you have a Ford in the back, big Ford in the front, big all platinum, looking good. Now, if we man run over this way, you know, we got the dual exhaust right here. So, this comes off the engine as two and eventually makes its way into a Y pipe into one and comes off with a dual tip right there. And if you look underneath, here we have a spare tire, which that is looking pretty new. So, uh, yeah, if you pop one of these on a trail, you got another one right there. You just gotta know how to take it down. And as you can see, the tremor package right here, off road package, of course. Now, some over here, do the same. One thing that's also cool, it's got the automatic steppers. Magic. 
Give it a second. Boom. Forward is magic. I like how the icicles stuck open. If you open it again, watch yeah, the icicle. Yeah, yeah. The icicles actually stuck on there. Hey, it's so good, even the ice wants to stay on the forward. <laughs> hey, it broke off a Chevy. Hey, you can always tell what leader it is if, you know, for some reason it does break down. You can see it's a 6, 7 power stroke for more diesel. Very good. This diesel is fairly quiet in the exhaust. So, you know, you can always modify that to make it nice. Just don't make it roll coal, you know, make the black smoke. It may look cool, but the black smoke is just wasted fuel, it's unburnt fuel. So it's just not very good. Now, walk over here. You can definitely hear the engine. Engine sounds good, sounds to me. You can definitely help the diesel. Yes. I do like these diesels. They do get a little bit better fuel mileage than gas. But diesel's so expensive. It's just... They're cool, but they're expensive. And really expensive to fix, too. As you can see, you cannot hear the truck in here at all. It's really quiet in here. And I will turn over to Marcus for uh, interiors. Marcus, go. Well, just right off the bat, it's a very nice, I say spacious. It's almost like I'm in a fighter jet, almost. Because you got all the controls over here. You got controls going all the way down there. The steering wheel is absolutely loaded. You got your nice gauge cluster up there with your tachometer and your speedometer. And a nice little digital info area. And then right here, we're at the general like sender console area. You got a couple more fun buttons up there. And the best part about this, it's a touch screen. You can play Minecraft on that. Mm -hmm. you can plant airstrikes. Look at that. Want to go to shell? Boom. Just like that. Directions. And then we have all the climate controls, the media area. And we got a nice spacious nice cup holders. Just little miscellaneous holders. And then up here, we have the wireless phone charger area. With a nice little cover. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, the thing's all the way out there. Yeah. We're not gonna worry about that. It's got, you can plug in your, your phone charger into here or into there. It's got, you know, a fairly big center oh, console geez. in here, as you can see. You can hold your pens. Look at that. Nice. And then this thing slides it on. You can take it out and you can put your coins or whatever. Big old center account. That thing's deep. Holy, it's huge. Oh, yeah. Big old center console. It even got a light in there. Oh, yeah. Got a little light in there. One thing we did not mention about in the engine bay, the hood does have a light on it. It's just not connected. So if you have to open the hood at night, you can see. Oh, yeah. There's two more cup holders. Yeah, back cup holders, you know. Back seat's very spacious. But we'll, we'll jump in that there in a bit. Now, interesting, if you really hate your passenger, in this itty bitty little glove box, you can turn your passenger airbag off. So, if you hate your passenger, do that. Don't hate your passengers, don't do that. They're very spacious, you know, you got your 12 volts and you can see your cigarette lighter here. And you got your regular plug in there, pretty nice. You have uh, your heated seats and your, oh, what was that? Don't touch. Okay, the trailer is disconnected. You got your heated and cooled seats here, so, you know, hot and cold days. You have all your AC and heat settings over here, as you can see, you got your, your vents and your Starting floor. Starting to feel that heated seat. Oh, look at that. Pretty. You got your, nice. your radio tube and your volume over here. Nice. Now this truck, unlike some of the other ones, isn't, doesn't have a lot of the big features, like another shifter here, I just got the column shifter, which, you know, is nice. I'm a fan of the column shifters. Yeah. So, and if you look over here, you can, you know, lock your diff, that picture there. Just, you can have your options of four low, four high, and two high, which is nice. And pull. Yep, and pull. Um, it's pretty nice. You got big speakers over here. Big speakers over there. No speakers up on the on the ceiling. Oh, actually, you got some speakers right there for answering calls in your car. 
right there. Ooh, yeah, and big old mirrors. Little mirror, so your girlfriend can do her makeup, or your wife, or whatever you're into, they can do their makeup. <gasps> it's got a taco holder. Yeah, the taco holder. Actually, the uh, taco holder. Why is that so loud? <laughs> it got warmed up. <laughs> yeah, you can see you got, don't touch it. I don't know what that does. Oh, no way. What? Doesn't do anything, Mark. Oh. Look at that, that little button there opens and closes your little itty bitty back window. Ford really is magical. As you can see, your backup camera, your assist, your assist, your hazards, your traction control on and off. Don't you? Oh, wait. That's the bird's eye camera. Hold up. Okay, I've always had a, you know, how do they get this? I never know how. I think it's your sensors around there. Oh, it has a front camera too. That's a rear camera. No, it is a front camera. No, that's camera. the front, because that's the front car. That's cool. Ooh, it's got all the different, this is, you know, Ford is all about safety. Oh, they have one for the bed. They had a bed camera. Look at that. See, Ford is all about what oh, you do. I had the ox camera. Whoops. As you see up here, you have all your light. Uh, it's really hard to see. Okay. Okay, trust me. You got your light, your lights, your not lights, your lights again, and your other lights. Oh, I see. For your light here, light off. Don't know what that does. Oh, oh, oh. So this button here is for lights on and off. You open the door, you can keep them on. Light this side off. That one off, you know, both. Um, I don't think, oh, you got your garage door opener there. Mm -hmm. I say we uh, check out the back seat. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Make our transition. Oh, all these door handles are interesting. Door handles are really nice and nifty. All well, you got is pull it and click. I'm gonna just Boom. keep it running so we can go in the back. All right, look at that little nifty little uh, door step here. Climb down. See, these running boards tuck away so when you're off-roading, they don't get hung up on stuff. Now, back here, very nice. You got your little speaker here. They do, it does have airbags around here. I don't remember where, but yeah, up in the corners here. Ooh, airbags. They got some nice old crap handles. Oh yeah, there's some nice handles right here. You know, it don't feel the sturdiest. It oh, yeah. wiggles, so I wouldn't trust it. You're a big boy. So we get in the back here. Close the door. Not, ooh, more cup holders. Look at that. And oh, a center console. Cheeky. Yeah. Four people. Cup holders. Now back here, the truck, you can hear it a little bit more. What? You can hear the truck a little bit more it's back here. The vibration. And that would be, this right here, this cup holder is not very designed the best. Got to really push. Now, you do have, back here, more plugins for your phone or iPad or iPod. Oh, or, and rear heated seats. And rear heated seats for your climate. Rear these. And then your rear... Cigarette lighter and your plug in. So, you know, if you miss home, you can just plug your phone in there or something, or whatever you want to plug in. I don't know people are plugging in now. Back here, it is very spacious. Back here, I do have a lot of headroom. Marcus does, but he's short. What? It's idling really high all of a sudden. It's warming up. It's, it's a diesel. Diesels do take a while to warm up. <laughs> I think that turbo looked like it was building boost, but it's not. Dialing it. Oh no, it's building boost. Dialing it about a grand right now. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well. Okay, light, light, off, off. So you can have this light on right here, and you can have that light again, and you can turn it off and off. Boom, beautiful. Back here, the seats are very comfy. It does. Yeah, that's the big flaw. Yeah, this No matter thing, how hard you push, yeah. it always comes back up in the cup See, holder. The cup up. holder's right here, you push that down. You can only push it on that far, but if you push it any farther, the cup holder comes back up. Ooh, big flaw. Yeah, one thing I say, Ford did not do a good job designing, so stay. This truck does have leather interior, which, you know, has its ups and downs. It's good for cleaning up spills or messes that you may have on here, but bad for cold and hot days, because it'd be burning. And then you do have little pouches back here, one on each side. Pretty spacious. Oh yeah, good nice space for pouches if you keep you like a notebook or something back here. Other than that, you know, it's not really decked out. It is, but it isn't, you know? Right? Right, it's respectable. It's, it, it is respectable. Also, you got a lot of, uh, you have your mirror adjustments over there. Yeah, it's like, like I said, it's like a whole... Yeah, like everything over there. Right now. You're in the spaceship. Yep. 
you have your hole over here. You can answer your phone so you're not texting and driving. You're not, you know, you can be hands free like a good person. If you don't go hands free, then you are a bad person. <laughs> you know, if you're, if you don't go hands free, you might run a red light and get a ticket. You know who you are. You're in my class. Spinning, very loud from the outside. Very nice. Back of the doorstep. Does have a little alarm. Lets you know when the door is is ajar. You know, that's the only time the door's not a door. Oh, and your tire pressure tells you right up there your PSI. All your light controls over there. Very nifty. Very, very nifty. So if we just give this a little bit, you can watch that. Boy, get in here. You got fully automatic seats too. Yep. As you can hear the diesel, the, the turbo spool up. I love that turbo sound. You, when you build up enough boosts, you'll, you'll get the nice turbo spool. Oh, the turbo discharges are nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I like this camera. Nice camera. Ooh. Alright, so here we have the 1977 Ford F-250 Denside. This style is a high boy, meaning that it's got a divorce transfer case and different mounting brackets so the leaf springs up front. Sticking the leaf springs, Ford F-250s back then came with leaf springs in both the front and rear suspension with shocks as well to help it get a nicer ride. It does have lockout gears in the front. This is a Dana 44 front axle. And then the rear would came with Dana 44 or a Dana 60 depending on towing package. This one does have disc brakes compared to most had drum. Rear brakes always was drum back then. As you can see, there's an Adelie too as well. Right here for suspension. Get a little more towing in it. Eight foot box. Well, very, very good for towing all your stuff. Very solid. Bigger mirrors. So that way you, Yeah, real solid, solid truck. This one does have the big block 460, biggest engine around back then. Awesome, awesome vehicle. I started up, but the audio, it's, it's way too loud for the audio to pick up. But yeah, Ford F-250, very great.